quick addendum here showing you how I did the uh, cycloid teeth on the uh, cannon pinion. Okay, so I've got a new part studio, there's nothing in it, and I'm going to use the custom feature, which is the cycloid gear pair custom feature. It's in my list down here, um, and this is what it does. It creates two surfaces which have the appropriate shape. Now, so if I have a look at that, you'll see that I've got pinion 12, I want, oh, there should be leaves, I've got an error here, <laughs> and, and then 36 teeth for the wheel. Uh, you notice that if I go below 10, then the you have this sort of sharper peak on the, um, that's built into the logic, it's part of the standard. If you go 10 or more teeth, then it's a full round, um, it's a full round on the uh, full radius. Anyway, so we've got 12 teeth this time, and you'll see here the center, center distance is obviously very wrong. In fact, the module needs to be 0.2165, and that will give me the correct 5.196 center to center distance. <laughs> Don't worry, I did calculate that beforehand. I didn't just guess that. Uh, so this <laughs> creates the, uh, the two surfaces, and simply what I did then is create a sketch. If I turn off the because I created a sketch where I just copied the outside of the, uh, you know, the, the loop and created, you know, another uh, sketch entity outside here to create a closed region. And I did the same thing for the minute teeth as well. Um, yeah, so I've got one closed region out there. These are now ready to be put into the wheel train, wheel train parts. And I'm going to turn a few things off. Um, so just clean up all of that. The blue thing in the middle here is the cannon pinion, which is what I want to cut the teeth onto. So I'm going to use a super derive custom feature to pick the sketches that I just made there. So the Canon pin and leaves. The good thing with the super derive is it lets me provide a location for it like that. And it's very simple and at this point I'm just going to select that region, do remove through all. There we go. Now we have a fully formed canon pinion. Um, I'll do the same thing for the minute wheel. Uh, the minute wheel is in a different part studio, so we do that um, same thing, um, but in uh, in the other part studio. All right.